Hi guys, this is Mike at Rich and Sons. Hey, just wanted to thank you for your purchase of the open range travel trailer. <clears throat> when we first get to the campsite, we're going to look for our, our place where we're going to plug in. <clears throat> we got a 50 amp service here. One thing that we, <clears throat> the surge protector is kind of pro is recommended. But well, we get this plugged in here, give it a half turn, give it a twist, and we're hooked up and we got power to our camper. Hi right, guys, when we get to the campsite, first thing we want to do is we get all hooked up. Let's fill up our water heater. You know, we dump that every time we go home so the water don't get stale in it. But we, <clears throat> we put our plug in in here. Turn, you know, I got our water going. We take this relief valve and let the, the air come out of there <clears throat> until the water runs out. And then we can shut that. And then our water heater is all filled up and ready to go. So when we're hooking up, we got a, <clears throat> our docking station here on the open range. Right here is our city water connection here, <clears throat> our fresh water connection to where we can fill the tank, and also our black tank flush is all right here. So we get to the, we hook up our city water, and we have pressure to the whole system. We also have an outdoor shower here, so it gives us uh, some flexibility when we're dumping and stuff like that. Our cable satellite is all right here. We also have a plug-in, and there's a little tube right here that you can fish your hoses up so you'll be able to shut this and people can't mess with it. So when we get to get done camping and we're getting ready to leave, we're gonna pull up to the, the dump station and we wanna take our time here. We don't wanna get, <clears throat> get in a hurry because when we get in a hurry, that's when mistakes happen. But we hook up our, you know, some disposable gloves would be good, but we hook up our, uh, our sewer hose, put it down in the dump tank, and then we have our black, we have a gray, and we have another gray. So let's first, we'll pull our black, slowly, we'll get that out, we can hook a hose up to it and flush that tank out, and then we're going to dump our grays, and when we've got all that done, we can put that, and then we'll have our outdoor shower to clean up here. Up to the propane, we have two 30 pound propane bottles up here, when we get to the campsite, let's turn on our, our valve, make sure that this arrow is pointed to this tank, to where it flows out of that tank, and then when that gets kind of running down, well, we can switch this to the next tank. But you got 60 gallon, 60 pounds of propane up here. We're going to have a new 12 volt <clears throat> marine grade battery up front. We get back from the campsite, we go to store it. There is a battery disconnect in here, so we can disconnect this and it disconnects that battery so we won't, won't drain it down while it's stored. <clears throat> when we back into our campsite, we're going to try to get this thing level. We're going to use blocks to where we back up and get it from side to side, and then, we'll also, then we can use the front to back's easy because we just you're going to use our front jack here. Once we get it all leveled and stuff, and then we're going to bring it over here and we're going to use our, our power jacks, our stabilizer jacks, and that's going to take all the rock out of it. Down here you'll see this red and white and there's a couple caps in here. This is where our low point drain is. When we get to the back, that's where we dump our fresh water tank and we can dump that when we get back from the, <clears throat> get ready to leave, just dump that on the, uh, empty your fresh water tank so you're not carrying out all that extra weight. So when we first we come into our camper, right away is that we have our, our uh, control panel here, our <clears throat> awning in and out, awning light switch. These are our slide switches in and out. They're labeled for in and out. Also, you have your uh, porch light, flood lights, uh, gas and electric water heater, but also there's a tank monitor here, so we can go in here and, and check all the levels of, of our tank. Also, we can tell what our battery uh, level is. <clears throat> All located right here in a central location. One thing about it, <clears throat> this is uh, our power box here. We got our 110 breakers and our 12 volt fuses here. If we blow a fuse, there'll be a little red light that comes on. But <clears throat> our main breaker here, just pretty simple, all, all labeled, all self-explanatory. Well, in this unit, we have a residential fridge. Uh, inside here, we do have where we can adjust the temperature at it. This runs off an inverter that's off of the front battery. So, very, <clears throat> very nice refrigerator in this camper. So, right up here, we have our, our air conditioner furnace, our, our mode button here. We go from air conditioner into the furnace, back just to, just to auto fans, or I can just run the fan. One of the biggest mistakes people make is that uh, it could be on Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. So we want to make sure that we uh, have this set on uh, 
Fahrenheit. So all of our air conditioner and our furnace is right here. Okay, we have a fantastic fan here. <clears throat> our fan switch control is right here. We, right, we can raise it up, lower it, and then we also have the, the on and off switch. <clears throat> this radio is an AM, FM, DVD, Bluetooth. We can turn it on. We got ranges, zones for our speakers. So we got a zone one that's inside. I shut that off. And now I have the outside that's on. So I can have both of them on or I can just select the zones that we want to be in. It's also Bluetooth where you can connect a Bluetooth phone and whatever and play your music off your phone. Really a nice radio. So we're getting ready to, to bake a, a pizza. So one of the things we got to do is we got to sit here and we got to get this pilot light lit first. So what we do is we turn out the pilot light, we push it in and hold it, and then we light it down under here, and we light it, and we keep this pushed in until that thermal coupler gets warm. And once that's warm, then you can release that, and your pilot light will stay uh, throughout your camping weekend uh, until you shut the propane off, and then we can use our oven. So up on top here is we have our three burner tow top. The front one is your higher output. The back two are lower outputs, but all we do to, uh, to light them is it's got a spark igniter. So if we're not getting TV reception, the first place that we want to do is check this little green light up here, make sure that's on. That's a power booster for your antenna. But when you go to hook up cable and satellite, you're going to want to make sure that that's off because if you don't, it's going to interfere with your, your reception on those the cable and the satellite. So your TV power booster. Your camper is rated. It's got a safety equipment in it. So there's three major things that we're going to look for. Number one is the smoke detector. You also have a carbon oxide propane detector. And then you also have the fire extinguisher all in this unit. There are also windows that are labeled for fire escapes. So this camper is all inspected by the Nebraska Fire. So you're all, all set to go on safety. So when you get ready to leave, the one thing that we want to do is make sure that everything's put away. It's all secured and locked down so we don't have things flying around. Make sure your, your, your table chairs are strapped down, your shower door is clipped back, just a few things. Make a checklist on things that you need to do to get ready to move the camper. Again, this is Mike at Rich and Sons. Hey, wanted to thank you for purchasing an open range travel trailer.